Hi, my name is Glenn Jennings. I am the State Driving Coordinator for CFA. Over the years, the driving of CFA vehicles has proven to be a dangerous task for CFA members. Too many CFA members and members of the public have either been killed or injured as a result of a collision with a CFA vehicle. We can only do our job to protect the community if we arrive in a timely manner and in a condition fit and ready to do our role as firefighters. I'd like to cover a few key points in this presentation. The first one is the new 40k rule. On the 1st of July this year, the Government and Vic Roads introduced a change to the road safety road rules. A new requirement is now for motorists to slow down to 40 kilometres an hour when passing a stationary or a slow moving police or emergency vehicle. This has been done to protect the emergency service workers who are doing their job on the side of the road. Therefore, drivers of CFA vehicles do need to slow down to 40k when passing a stationary or slow moving emergency vehicle that is displaying its red or blue lights. It's important that we do this for two reasons. One is to ensure the safety of our fellow emergency service workers who are on the side of the road. The second reason is to provide a good example or set a good example for members of the public, those motoring drivers beside us who can see that we are complying and slowing down to protect the scenes. The second point I'd like to touch on is the wearing of seatbelts. CFA has been promoting for many years the benefits of wearing seatbelts. We know that seatbelts save lives, therefore we all have a duty of care to our fellow motorists and to members of our crews to make sure that we buckle up every time we get in the vehicle or we're on the back of a tanker and we're not directly involved in firefighting operations. So whether we are the driver, the crew leader or a crew member, it's important we accept the safety of everybody in the vehicle and remind each other to buckle up. The last point I wish to touch on is station doors. Unfortunately, the number of incidents involving station doors is increasing all the time. This has a costly effect on the organisation and also means that we have to replace damaged vehicles with spares, which sometimes can be very difficult to find. So therefore, before we pull out of the station, let's just make sure that the doors are all the way up if there are safety, safety mechanisms, they are locked into place. If the station is fitted with warning lights and tones, that we obey those. If the lights are red, no call is that urgent that we need to go through the red light. You need to stop, wait for the light to go green, the tones to cease, and it is clear for everybody to exit the station. Thank you for your time to just take a few of these points on board and ensure that we achieve our aim, and that is, at the end of the day, all of us return home safely to our families. Thank you and safe driving.